Good morning, everyone out there on YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's early morning over here. Uh, God had me wake up early and uh, start uh, making videos and so on and so forth. I'd like to first show you guys the... Um, it's uh, misted up. As uh, a lot of you returning viewers can can uh, know by now, on a normal day you'll see across the fjord onto the mountains, and today it's completely foggy. But what I did notice is that this cherry tree has started to the cherries have started to take on some color. It's been a bit of sunshine in the last few weeks around here, so they've had a chance to really ripen up a little bit. But it doesn't look like they're gonna be, they're gonna get much bigger than basically tiny little cherries. I've never seen what types of cherries actually come off of this tree because I've only been here since the fall of last year. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, glad to have you here. If you are a regular subscriber, welcome back. Love to have my steady viewer base checking in. Good to have you here. Um, yeah, so... Last couple, two, three videos have been a little Watchmen-esque, a little bit of uh, warnings and pressures, um, given the trajectory where we're going. And um, there was a, there was um, somebody that left a message on my last video asking how to sort of get right with uh, God and, and be on this um, correct walk, this daily walk, and um, what to do, basically, if you knew that you're, that you could be in a better place. Now, I noticed, I mean, given, assuming, that you've made the sinner's prayer and asked God for forgiveness through accepting Jesus Christ, I'm just going to assume you're already there. But after you've done that, um, let's say you did that a while back, and since you've, you haven't really been... Um, maintaining a prayer life, you haven't been reading scripture, you've lost the appetite for um, a daily walk with God. Well, how do you how do you get back to it? You see, that's not a one size fits all answer. There's no one size fits all answer to that. But I think you can't go wrong with with what I'm about to um, suggest. Also, for some people, they have it. They have the ability to hear God a little bit better. You know, it's like a sense. It's knowing Him talking to you, pointing your direction, pointing your attention to, and putting it in your heart to focus on. But you might not be focusing on those things. You might not be taking action upon those things. That's if you know what he wants and is asking from you, then I suggest you do those things. Alpha priority. There's no other thing to prioritize. Everything else is temporal. Nothing but a drag. Um, however, let's say you're not there. Let's say you don't feel like you hear from the Lord. You're not sure what he wants from you, and you're not sure if you're even in right standing. You have no way of telling. 
If you have nowhere yet, tell them. Then chances are, you're not in right standing with the Lord. Um, so, this is what I would like to suggest. And I've gone to God and asked and asked Him, and, you know, is this good advice? Is this something that you would like me to make a video about? And he gave me the thumbs up. Now also, keep in mind, what you put in, in terms of your time and energy, this, it will reward you in the same way, kind of, so to speak, especially in the beginning. Um, you have to put in some sincere dedication. Now what you'll notice is when you when you do put in this sincere dedication, many distractors will come to you. That's when the devils will come for you. When you try to initiate a phase shift, the devils will try to distract you. They will try to snuff out your initiative. And next thing you know, you've fallen off course again. And it's at the startup phase because everything, if you're starting a new exercise routine, right? If you've told yourself you're going to get into shape. When is it that the bud of progress is usually nipped? In the beginning, the bud of progress. Well, I kind of gave it away, giving you, telling you it was nipped at the bud, right? But it's in the beginning. And you know that. Anybody that's tried to um, improve themselves, you know, homeostasis is very hard to break. Homeostasis being the state of not doing anything, going day by day, not changing, not doing anything. It's like being at a rest state. Changing that requires you to go against the stream. Going against the stream is effort, work, and the devils will exploit that against you. But now to the, that's the caveat. That's the, that's what you're trying to fight against. Now here's my advice to you. It's very simple. Because the best beginner's advice is the simplest, something that people can indeed follow. And it's what I would say praying three times a day, but making sincere prayer, not just boom, finished, prayed. I mean true prayer. Be mature about it. But here it goes. But this is how it goes. In the morning, when you register that you've woken up, try to the first thing you try to do, maybe even before you get out of bed or as you get out of bed, just make sure you don't fall asleep again, is pray. Pray to Lord God, one, to make this day in His will. Ask Him to be part of your day. Ask Him to per start permeating your mind your heart, your attention. Bring yourself to God and invite Him into your day. And then pray about the things that you think should be prayed about. Start there. See if you can make these prayers last 10, 15 minutes. You know, you don't need to pray. You can even take your time. You don't need to pray about a ton of things, but bring your mind, your spirit to God, right? It's like a meditation. It's like bringing your focus in to God. Now, somewhere during the day after that, once you've started your day and you're off to work or whatever you do, when you, whenever you're kind of like got a moment, remember when you jump in your car to get on get into your, you know, to start your commute to go to work, you might have a moment where you're like, oh yeah, I prayed this morning. I made this sincere dedication to start, try to, try to improve my daily walk with God. Oh, remember it. Don't let it just like fade off and, and get in that car and boom, 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 boom. Anchor yourself at that moment and say, hey, yeah, this is what I'm doing. And then you can even bring your mind again to God and say, God, thank you. 
Thank you for for this. I'm going to make this. I'm going to make this happen. That's it. You see, with God, He doesn't ask you to to do 20 push-ups. You know, He doesn't ask you to do 40 minutes of cardio exercise. All it is is here and here. How easy can that be? It's not about changing your food. Even maybe later, it'll ask you to do a fast, but not necessarily in the beginning. Very, it's you know, it's so easy. So before you're off driving in your car, all right. Maybe even say another twenty-second prayer. Lord God, thank you for keeping me safe all these years driving. There's been lots of road accidents. I've seen a few. That could have been me, or maybe you've been in one. But you're fine. You're not dead. You're not par paraplegic. You know, thank God for these things. Surely He's protected you. So, that's the thing. You know, just just pray about things. Give Him thanks. Pray for others. Pray for others in your family to be safe. Pray for your colleagues to be safe. Pray for your enemies. Pray for them to be safe. Now. The third prayer, that's like sort of like easy prayer. That's like a little, I wouldn't really call that official prayer, like in the three. Then sometime during your day, make another moment. Take another moment where you're praying, sort of go over the things you want to pray about and pray. Maybe write them down in advance as they pop up in your mind. Start t taking prayer requests. Ask other people. Hey, I'm going to start praying. Would you like me to pray for you? Also, you can pray about the things that have happened in that day. Since driving to work. Since waking up in that week. Whatever. So let's say before you go to lunch or right after you come back from lunch or somewhere. Right? Find the time. Make the time. Maybe right before you come home. And make another 10-minute prayer. Five minutes, 10 minutes. Set your alarm. But if 10 minutes is not, it seems like a lot for you, then, then make it 10 minutes. For other people, eventually 30 minutes is not very long. But it's somewhere to start. So try to make it five, 10 minutes. And then again... The final prayer, or the third one for the day. Of course, pray over every meal. Pray before you eat. Say a blessing over your food. But then the third prayer. Sometime before you go to sleep. Maybe right before you go to sleep. Again, take 10 minutes and pray again. Similar to the other, three, other two that you did that day. But in the same manner, you know. And, again, what I like to do is I like to pray to God to help me to make good prayer. To put into my mind the things that I should be praying about. And I pray for God that His will be done. And I pray that I would become a good servant, a good son, um, to honor His kingdom and Lord God, these things. Um, yeah, other than that, you see where the Spirit leads you to pray. So I hope that helps. Again, I think that if you do that for a week, a week and a half, and you're sincere with it, then things will happen. If not, keep at it, you know, because I think you're going to get more blessings if you walk this path in blind faith anyways. Some people have been doing this for years. They might not get anything. Hey, but, uh, but they're still dedicated. There's something good in that. I think God takes stock of such faith. So just keep at it. And don't feel bad if you're not feeling like anything special has happened. You haven't gotten any dreams or visions. You know, okay. But just stick to it. It doesn't really have so much to do with... Dreams and visions and all these things don't really have so much to do with... 
sort of like extra blessings or anything like that it's I don't think so you can be highly blessed and do lots of work for God and not have dreams and visions so try not to stress about those things all right um, the video turned out a little longer than I would have assumed it would have taken but if you stuck if you made it through I'm very happy for you and thank you very much um, but beyond simply watching my videos I really hope that wherever you are in your walk with God that you that you double down that's the whole point of all this for me it's a bigger deal to get one or two people to be um, to enter the kingdom of God then for example to have people that are already going to be entering kingdom and having them sort of get more blessings in heaven you know from my human point of view so thanks for watching i pray that you have a blessed weekend i think there will be a couple more videos coming out this weekend because i'm a little bit behind with some of the videos god has tasked me to produce so yeah stay tuned may your um weekend be blessed and um yeah praises and honor all blessings on the throne of lord god and thank you so much for his son who died for us so that we would be so that we would have a way back to heaven from damnation to salvation through Jesus Christ, his uh, son, his perfect son. Again, blessings eternal to our King, Lord God, and his son, Jesus Christ. Amen.